What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be talking about solar or SXP. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the key features, the key components, uh, pros and cons, how it works, price analysis, and also price prediction. Let's get into this. What is solar? Solar is an enterprise level blockchain ecosystem built on the solar core, which is a layer one blockchain framework. The solar blockchain uses the delegated proof of stake consensus or DPoS, and it is protected and supported through DPoS by delegates or by validators. Solar is also powered by open source developers and community participation, aiming to create a transparent governance ecosystem. Solar's mission is to provide sustainable, clean energy solutions to remote areas by leveraging blockchain technology. Developers building dApps on the Solar platform have access to various features such as smart contracts, decentralized storage, and also numerous tools and resources, all of which are provided by Solar Core. Solar was founded by Asialetto Lizarondo and also Naeem Williams in 2018. So let's talk about the tokenomics. So the native token of the solar network is SXP. And as of right now, there is also no maximum supply. So for both uh, BEP, uh, 20 and also ERC-20 tokens, they haven't been determined on what the maximum supply is. So however, the founder's wallet currently holds around 50 million SXP and the remaining 40.8 million SXP is held in the treasury smart contracts. SXP is used to perform the following functions. First of all, we have staking. So the SXP token holders can stake their tokens to secure the network and also earn rewards. There's also transaction fees. So the SXP tokens can be used to pay transaction fees on the solar blockchain, ensuring the network's smooth operation. Then there's governance. So SXP token holders can participate in the governance of the solar blockchain by proposing and also voting on changes to the protocol. And then there is payment. So solar dApps utilize SXP tokens as the primary currency, providing inherent utility and also value to the token. So how does solar work? Well, the solar ecosystem is anchored on the solar core, which is a delegated proof of stake derivative of Arc blockchain. This blockchain boasts of being rapidly rapid, modular, eco-friendly, efficient, and also completely decentralized. So what sets Solar apart from Arc is its comprehensive adoption of Schnorr signatures that enhance user privacy. The blockchain's DPoS consensus protocol comprises 53 delegates who operate as nodes to safeguard and upkeep the Solar blockchain. Block production is organized into rounds and blocks, which each round encompasses 53 blocks, and every delegate contributes one block per round. Solar's block submission time Time is eight seconds, which is comparatively faster than blockchains like Ethereum and also Bitcoin. Now let's talk about the use cases of solar. So first of all, solar claims to provide sustainable and clean energy solutions to remote areas using blockchain technology. The platform offers features like smart contracts, decentralized storage, and also staking options, incentivizing SXP token holders to earn rewards and also increase demand for the token. The solar ecosystem also allows for the creation of innovative decentralized applications, and also NFT trading. Now, let's talk about the main components of Solar. So first of all, we have the blockchain. So the Solar Metaverse. The Solar developers plan to launch the Solar Metaverse, offering a range of features and also benefits to enhance the user experience and also functionality. And then we have the Solar Launchpad. So the Solar Launchpad is still under development and it will enable users to launch their applications and tokens on the Solar platform easily. And then we have the Solar Solar side ledger protocol. So this protocol supports the development of solar based non fungible tokens and also ERC 20 tokens and users are responsible for paying the creation transaction fees with SXP and then we have the solar core. So the solar ecosystem relies on the solar core, a delegated proof of stake framework based on the Arc blockchain. It exclusively provides enhanced user privacy through Schnorr signatures and is modular, decentralized, fast and also sustainable. And then we also have the NFT marketplace. So solar will allow users to create and trade NFTs within the solar metaverse. And solar is also exploring partnerships with other NFT marketplaces like OpenSea and users will also be able to offer their NFTs on the marketplace built by the solar developers themselves. Now let's talk about the pros and cons. So first of all, we will start with the pros of the solar 
ecosystem. So first of all, we have efficiency. So solar offers an easy and efficient way to create NFTs and also applications, even for those with limited experience. The creation process can be completed within the user solar wallet or via SDK. And then we also have low fees. So solar has established low fees for launching tokens through its network and making it accessible to a larger audience. And then we also have the deflationary burning mechanism. So the network has a token burning mechanism that will eventually lead to a decrease in the supply of the SXP token as more tokens and applications are launched. Now, let's talk about the cons of solar. So first of all, limited adoption. Solar has a relatively low level of adoption compared to you know more established blockchains like Ethereum. And this could make it challenging for users to find support and for developers to attract users to their decentralized applications. And then there's also the lack of liquidity. So solar is a relatively new blockchain network. So it currently has a limited liquidity and this could make it difficult for users to trade SXP coins and also for developers to attract investment for their decentralized applications. And then we also have centralization of power. So while Solar's delegates use a voting system to secure the network, only 53 delegates maintain and also secure the network. And also this could be considered a centralization of power. And then we also have unproven track record. So as a newer blockchain network, Solar has not yet established a proven track record in terms of security, scalability, and overall performance. And this may make some users more hesitant to use the network or invest in SXP coins. Now, let's talk about the updates to Solar. So the Solar ecosystem continues to align with its original roadmap while inking partnerships and also support from established crypto entities. So for instance, crypto exchange Binance announced support for SXP mainnet swap and a rebranding plan to Solar SXP. And at the same time, the SXP token continues to receive significant customer inflow. Now, let's go over the price analysis. So currently it's trading at 65 cents and it's also ranked at 108 when we're taking a look at the market capitalization. And with the market capitalization, it has a market cap of 366 million. So, you know, it's not that much of a, a rare coin. There's at least, you know, a decent market cap to it. When we're taking a look at its all-time high, that was back in May 3rd of 2021 at $5.30. And obviously it's down quite a lot as most coins and projects are and currently it's trading at around 65 cents and also it's bounced recently i believe this bounce was based off the binance news and yeah so now let's take a look at the you know price prediction so if we were to compare the market cap of sxp and put it to that of for example another project where could that take the price realistically right so if sxp had the same market cap as that of bitcoin at 586.1 billion one sxp would be worth uh, one thousand dollars or an upside of 1500x uh, moving even further if it was that of for example dogecoin uh, that would put the potential price to $22 with a market cap of $12.4 billion. And as I said previously, the all-time high was around $5.40 back in May. Which project would it have to go to right now to get to around $5.40? Well, that would be right around Ethereum Classic at a $3.1 billion evaluation. And that would put the potential price then to $5.52 or an upside of 744%. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for this analysis on solar. Let me know what you guys think about solar in the comments down below. Also, make sure to join my Telegram group, which is completely free to join. And anyways, guys, if you like the video, mint me a subscription down below. I'll see you in the next one.